Alrighty, so how's it going everyone? Before we get this video started, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Jaime, I am six foot two, and at one point in my life, I was 310 pounds. Exactly to this day that I'm making this video, it is May 15, 2020, and I started my journey exactly one year ago. Um, quick couple things about me. Um, again, I'm six foot two. I was an athlete. I've been an athlete my whole life since I was a little baby, um, from football, baseball, uh, basketball, wrestling. Um, I also played collegiate football. I was an offensive lineman. I played center, um, and I've always, I've always been big. Um, at my heaviest, uh, playing and right after uh, playing football in college, I was 310 pounds. And the day came that I knew that I no longer was able to play football uh, due to being out of school. And uh, the next level, um, you know, never got a phone call. So. I decided to change my life. And uh, here's this video, and I hope you enjoy.
if you have watched the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Honestly, I regret not making a YouTube channel and making YouTube videos from day one of my journey. I thought about it. I never did. Instead, I made an Instagram, which I'm very happy I did. Um, but I wish I would have made a YouTube. But I'm starting now. Um, and I, you know, I plan on making a lot of videos and, and um, you know, throughout my whole journey, I've learned so much that I would love to share um, and continue my journey because, you know, journey's never over. I don't, there's no final destination for me. I just, I'm always looking to progress. But anyway, I want to go over some things that I did do and some things that I did not do during my journey. Uh, I think this is very important. Um, I'm sure there's maybe a lot of questions, you know, what did I do? What did I didn't, what I didn't do? Um, you know, everything this whole entire year. Uh, so I want to, you know, not take up too much of your time, but say something. So I'm going to start off with things that I did not do. And I have some things here written down. Um, so if you see me looking around, it's because I got some things written down just so I don't forget uh, anything. Um, things I did not do. I did not start a diet. I did not start a quote unquote diet. For example, I did not do keto, paleo, carnival, or low carb, no sugar. Uh, I did not do any sort of diet. Um, I did practice intermittent fasting. For those of you who don't, don't know, um, intermittent fasting. Um, my eating window I gave myself was noon to 8. Sometimes I ate at 2 p.m. Sometimes my first meal was at 3 p.m. But either way, it was from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. That was my eating window. And the way I uh, did that is I ate two meals a day. So I ate two very large meals a day. That's what worked for me. Um, those two large meals, I did not, I never have, and I never plan on counting calories, um, counting macro, macronutrients, your carbs, your fats your proteins. Um, I never weighed my food. Um, nothing like that. Um, there was no pills, no fat burners, waist trainers, protein powder, um, meal replacement, shakes, pre-workouts, anything you can think of. I, I didn't do. Um, I didn't do it when I was a collegiate football player. And when I was an athlete, I was never into powders and protein powders and things like that. Or um, I just, I don't, I, I don't do it. I ate whole foods. I get enough nutrients, enough energy, progress in the gym, my weight loss by eating food, whole food, nutritious food and drinking lots of water and other things. Um, just that you, you know, that you probably have at your house. I didn't buy anything. I didn't, I didn't have to, you know, waste money and time on all this, on all these extra uh, things. Um, uh, I didn't eat salads all day, every day. People think you have to eat a whole bunch of salad to lose weight. Or I, I've seen and heard and read this. Um, I ate maybe five salads my, in my entire year. I don't enjoy salads. The only salad that I actually love and enjoy is a, like a Caesar salad, which is like has so many calories and like, you know, it's not the most nutritious thing. So no, I don't eat salads. I love my vegetables. I did eat a ton of vegetables. I always have, but I didn't do like crazy amount of salads. Um, I didn't give up alcohol. Um, you know, I regularly drink, you know, once or twice a weekend. I go out with my friends, have a good time. I didn't give up alcohol to lose 100 pounds. Um, I didn't starve myself. There's plenty of times that I was, you know, I felt great. I felt full. There's also plenty of times that I, you know, I felt hungry because you have to feel hungry. Um, if you want to lose that weight, you got to be in that caloric deficit. Um, so that's kind of a recap of what I did not do. So... There, there was no magic pill. There was no extra things being taken. Um, I ate two whole meals a day. I ate nutritious foods. I made sure I was in a caloric deficit and not by knowing how much I was intaking, but by measuring, weighing myself, my energy levels, becoming very in tune with my body. Um, I knew I was in a caloric deficit. I was burning a lot of calories. I wasn't consuming tons of calories, so I was losing weight. So now things that I did do, um, basically I worked my butt off and I, I kept it simple um so i made sure i had proper nutrition whole food nutrition um i became you know very aware of the types of food that what i was eating but also very aware of the amount of food that i ate i've never been a big fast food junkie or um i've always ate at home and and i don't like really eating out um so i've never had a bad palate 
I, I ate anything and everything. I My problem was I ate a lot of food, seconds, thirds. I ate so much. The amount of food I used to intake was incredible. You know, to keep the size and to gain the weight and, and to be a football player, I ate all the time as much as I wanted. So that was a big adjustment was not really the types of food that I was eating per se, a little bit, but more of the amount of food I ate. Um, and I had to be in a caloric deficit. Um, so again, I became very in tune with my body. I, uh, I tracked my progression on the scale, photos, my a BMI scan every month, uh, measurements. And, you know, I, I enjoyed the foods that I ate. I indulged sometimes. I've had ice cream and, and cake and there's been a birthday parties and donuts. And, um, you know, I, I ate healthy food. I ate good food. And then I ate, you know, fun food. Um, you know, I'm not a robot. Uh, so, you know, the, the weight loss is not linear. Um, mine wasn't. My weight loss was there, up, down, up, down, there, there. I was stagnant for two months, then down. So it's all over the place. But, you know, as long as we're going the right direction. But, you know, again, I was in a deficit. That's how I was able to lose the weight. So, yes, I was hungry. Sometimes I went to bed hungry. Sometimes I woke up hungry. But that is what you have to do. Um, Again, I intermittent fasted, not magic. You will not lose weight just because you intermittent fast. But to me, it helps me uh, with how much I'm eating. It, it helped me condense the amount of time I have to eat. Therefore, I ate less meals. Um, and I enjoy intermittent fasting. I've made it a lifestyle. Um, I see me doing this for a long, for years to come. Um, I do enjoy it. Um, and again, I, I as far as the gym, I prioritized uh, weightlifting. I didn't have a trainer. Um, I didn't have a nutritionist. I didn't have someone telling me what to do, how much to do. Um, I, I went, I worked out for an hour a day as far as lifting. Um, and I would, uh, you know, get a little moderate weight, not super heavy, do a lot of reps, burn a lot of calories, minimal rest. And I would just get to work. Um, but basically, I, I kept it simple. Um, I worked my butt off in the gym. I worked my butt off outside of the gym. I ate well. Um, and I lost a hundred pounds in one year. So, uh, I'm going to make tons of more videos, a lot more specific videos and a lot of the information I just said, but that was just kind of a brief overview.